Hello, I'm Nicole Schmitz and I'm an artist and I also run a foundry. Today we're making some telescope mirrors out of bronze and we're using a traditional sand molding process. The sand is packed around a pattern. This one is made of cherry wood. It will be very slightly larger than the finished piece which we're after, so this accounts for the shrinkage of the metal. The sand is packed into a flask, which is the kind of container for the sand, and it's made out of cast iron. So you put the pattern in, pack the sand around it, and then open up the two sides of the mold and carve in the running system. And the running system is kind of like a plumbing system inside the mold, so a place for the molten metal to go into the mold and the gas and the air to be uh, released out the top. So once uh, this is complete, the flask is then put back together and wired shut. We're using a specially alloyed block bronze, which is um, a high tin bronze to put in these molds so you get that nice silvery finish on the mirrors that we're after. So the furnace that we use today um, is a, a kind of replica chimney furnace. This is a kind of furnace that would have been more common, uh, say, in the United States during the Industrial Revolution, so before the invention of electricity and the common use of it. Inside the furnace, you would use a crucible. So a crucible is set on a grate inside the furnace, and then the fire is built around it. And as it comes up to temperature, you keep adding more fuel to keep like a, a big fire around it to, to get it up to temperature. So the other exciting bit of, of foundry work, obviously, is pouring molten metal. It looks almost like water. It's an amazing material to see um, molten, right? But actually, when you pick it up in the crucible, it's really heavy. You forget when you look at it exactly how, how heavy this material is. Warm metal after it's been poured is quite fragile, so you want to let it cool thoroughly. And what you're left with is this very hard, silvery metal that, um, with very crisp edges that's um, going to be used and polished to like a bright mirror finish so that you can see through the telescope up into the heavens, I guess. 